So, you're making the move to Portugal and you're thinking about buying a house in the country. We know that buying property anywhere can be a daunting task and buying property abroad adds a few extra barriers to the process. So if you're thinking about buying a home and can't quite work out where to begin, you're in the right place. Stay tuned as we delve into some important aspects of buying in Portugal that you should be aware of. Hi there, my name's Amy and I'm a buyer's agent at Goldcrest, the independent property buying service here in Portugal. At Goldcrest, you the buyer are our primary concern, not the sellers, and we will always negotiate the best possible deal for you, ensuring that you have the latest market intelligence and innovative valuation methods to make an informed decision. So, first things first, how should you begin your search for property in Portugal? Well, firstly, determine what type of property you're looking for a beach house, a modern apartment, a historic townhouse maybe? After you've decided on this, you'll want to know which part of Portugal you want to live in. Are you after a vibrant city life or are you moving to the country with your children? In this case, the buzzing capital of Lisbon could be a good option as there's always something going on and there are an impressive 30 international schools in the greater Lisbon area. If you're looking for that relaxed beach lifestyle, then opt for the Algarve. Are you looking to live in the countryside? Then the Alentejo could be an option. Make sure you narrow down your search first to a specific location, and we recommend heading to different parts of the country and different neighborhoods within cities to find the perfect spot for you. Secondly, it's a good idea to rent before you buy so you can get a feel for the area and see if the place is right for you. You can also use this as a base to explore different parts of the city or region. There's nothing worse than settling into your new home to find that the neighborhood is not what you expected. You've made a start, you've narrowed down the location, things are going smoothly. The next step is to actively begin your search for a property that meets your needs and budget. And you'll want to have an experienced real estate lawyer on your side also. You can identify all of the property listing sources, compare your options and then schedule viewings. One recommendation from us is to have your questions prepared in advance to ask to the real estate agent. It's also an excellent idea to get in touch with a buyer's agent who will be able to help you with your search and will have access to properties that are not listed elsewhere. One important factor to note is that real estate agents work on behalf of the seller, so we'll receive a higher commission for a higher sale price. Buyer's agents on the other hand will work completely on your behalf. This conflict of interest is just something to bear in mind found your dream property, the next step is to test your negotiation skills. So, how to bargain like a pro? The key is to try and play it by ear. With some sellers, you'll want to show that you're really interested in the property, but others may use this against you. And it's worth having an experienced expert in the field that can help you secure the best price possible. And finally, don't panic if a sale falls through. This can turn out to be for the best, Countless times, homeowners haven't managed to get hold of the first property that catches their eye and have ended up finding an even better property. So don't stress as something better will always turn up. You now have some important info in your armory for when you buy a house here in Portugal. And you can always get in touch with us at Goldcrest. We are more than happy to help you find your dream home here in Portugal. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. My name is Amy and this is Goldcrest Insights.